Hi, it's Andy, and today I'm bringing you my June TBR. Can you believe it is already time for June's TBR? Like, we're almost halfway through the year. I... I am struggling. Um, so, this TBR is going to be a little less of a TBR this month because I want to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room. I don't think I have a TBR like that I need to get through. Like there's no readathon this month that I'm aware of that I'm planning to take part in. Um, so I think it is just a case of me reading what I want to read. So I pulled this so it gives me wiggle room to mood read. But I recently separated my TBR into pre 2023 and post 2023 and I've separated it out like that so that I can focus on the ones that have been on my TBR the longest and not just keep reading the new books that come in which is great like getting the books read that I'm buying but obviously these guys are sitting getting just wasted in the and lost in all and amongst all the books so sorry if you can hear Hamish he's just sniffling around down there I don't know what he's doing but he's just making a load of noise so sorry if that translates onto the camera. But yeah, as you can see, I've got makeup on because I was out today at a work, like me and everybody at my new workplace. So um, I don't know, I'm not going to wear makeup when I'm at work. Like, or at least not like, I don't know. I'm not happy with the makeup today. It just doesn't feel right. So I don't know. Anyway, you're not here for that. You're here for my TBR. So I'm basically just going to go through my TBR and show you what it is. And um. The first is The Pool of the Stars by Emma Dunahue. I planned to read this a while ago and obviously didn't get to it. This is a historical fiction based in 1919 in Dublin during the Spanish flu pandemic. And the fact that it's a pandemic book doesn't bother me. I actually thought it was like a World War retelling, not retelling, like historical fiction. Uh, but it's sort of post-war, them dealing with post-war and then obviously the flu coming around and killing people that way. And it's about an understaffed hospital and the nurses that work there and it just seems like it's a really good book. It's a really thin one so hopefully I can get through it. I just never got to it. I just happened to not get to it. So I want to put it back up on my priority list. Then another one that I just didn't end up getting to is The Keening by Margaret Pinard. I've been meaning to read this for a while. This is a sort of atmospheric, historical based in Scotland and Scottish Isles sort of read and that is right up my street so I mean it remit it's, it sounds like it's going to be like the visitors but like historical and you know I love historical so I really need to get my finger out and get to this this is the start of a series so if I like this hopefully I can carry on with the series next up is one that is kind of calling out to me because I'm having a really good run of Tori's recommendations and that is The Green Lady by Sue Lawrence. This is based in a castle in Aberdeen or near Aberdeen um, close to where Tori grew up. So she is really keen for me to read this. It's one of the books that she re really likes and I am interested to read more historical fiction set in Scotland set not in World War 1 or 2. So other than Outlander which did pretty well. This is set before Outlander, it's 1567, so 200 years before Outlander. This is set and it's based on a true story, so I'm excited. Hopefully it's better than I get on with, it's better than I was getting on with Philippa Gregory. Next up is People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitfield. I'll be honest, this was a cover buy, like look at that, how pretty is that, with the gold and the purple. I have simple tastes and this fits them very well. This is about a woman who is in London 1888 and she's just gotten married and starts to be a bit suspicious of her husband because he's acting weird and she starts to wonder if he might be Jack the Ripper. That's all I can really get from the synopsis. Like it seems really atmospheric and creepy and like I, I just I don't know what it is about this. I can't tell you specifically one thing that is drawing me to this book, but I want to get around to it because it is every time I see the title, I'm like, yes, I need to read that, and then I forget about it. So it's going on the priority list this month. Next up is The Chosen Ones by Veronica Roth. I bought this for the Sprayed Edges, and vaguely the the 
the concept. So the concept of this is after the aftermath of sort of like the heroes saving the day. So these are the heroes after they have destroyed the Dark One, beaten the threat, like the aftermath of it. And they're not okay. They have PTSD, they have mental health issues, they have to deal with the death and the destruction and everything that went on and they're not dealing with it well. And I love that. Nothing ever looks at the aftermath, nothing looks at what happens after. Um, Marvel, I think Marvel did a good job with some of the stuff they did with Tony Stark is PTSD so I'm really hoping for good things. I do like Veronica Roth. She wrote Divergent and I loved Divergent and I'm really hoping that she continued to write good books. So this one is a bit of a um, bite in the bullet sort of read and that is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Barron. I liked Cinderella's Dead. It wasn't my favourite but I liked it. And I've heard nothing but rave reviews about this Poison Heart. However, I've heard not good things about this Wicked Fate, which is the sequel. So I'm going to read this and see if I want to bother reading it. Or some people say just read it as a standalone. So I'm going to finally do it. I'm scared now to read it because of the bad reviews that the second one has gotten. So I'm going to just like, you know, bite the bullet and read it. This is about a garden. I really don't know what it's about. I just, I like Cinderella's Dead seemed like a good concept at the time so I bought it. It's like a, somebody who's got powers to bring life to plants and maybe, oh it's about a poison plant. I don't know, it's got ancestral magic, it just sounds really really good and I want to go in knowing nothing else. The next one is going to be my chosen non-fiction to read this month. I am trying to pick up a, a non-fiction, at least one non-fiction every other month or so. I'm getting really good at picking them up because I am watching a lot of non non-fiction stuff on YouTube. That sounded really dumb, like astrophysics, archaeology, that sort of thing. Videos, people who are in these fields and doing the work and watching their videos on YouTube. So it's got me in the rhythm of it and that is Neanderthals Rediscovered, How a Scientific Revolution is Rewriting Their History. This is something that's ongoing um, because this is part of what I've been watching on YouTube. So they've discovered like crossovers and technologies and things about the Neanderthals that we didn't realise before. We thought they were like basic and <laughs> basic. We thought they were like stupid. Like if you call somebody, somebody a Neanderthal, you're like, you're stupid. But they they weren't. We all have Neanderthal DNA. At least uh, non-Sub-Saharan Africans usually have some Neanderthal DNA. So it's going to be fascinating to find out a lot of the updates on that because I've always loved history and archaeology. Me and my granddad used to watch like Time Team and other things where they were excavating and things like that. So I'm really excited to learn more. And this will probably be out of date or somewhat out of date by the time I've finished it. But I am excited. Like, I love all this crap. <laughs> love it. And the last book is my only sort of have to read, like my only obligation read, and that is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This is the Schwab Long book for June, so Vicious is this month. I have yet to read it, but that's because it's I've still got over a week left in the month, and um, I'd rather read it closer to the live show. So this will probably be like on the end of next month. But yeah, this is the Schwab Long book for the month. Schwab Long hosted by Tori, Lisa and Gem. I will tag them all down below as well as the Twitter page for the Schwab Long. Yes, I did just bite my tongue, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is about Victor and Eli and they discover a way to become extraordinaries or people with extraordinary powers, like super powers and in Vicious it is like a revenge story. I don't know anything about this, I'm not looking at the back because it's the second book and I've not read the first one yet so yeah. Um, it's a very popular Schwab series and it is only one of the three Schwab books that I have not read. So I've not read Vicious and Vengeful which I take as like a series and then um, the City of like Tunnel Bones, City of Ghosts the Cassidy Blake series I've not read and I haven't read Everyday Angel. I don't plan on reading Everyday Angel but all the other novels by Schwab I have read so far so we're getting close to the end because um, we've only got this then Addie then Cassidy Blake to read for Schwab along so 
we're getting to the end. So yeah, that is my TBR for the month of June. It is a very calm TBR. I am allowing myself to have some room to mood read because I do tend to find that I'm mood reading a lot. I'm actually mood rereading and by mood rereading I mean I'm making my way through this 37 book series. Uh, I have quite a few left to go and I've been picking up at least three or four of them every month because they're really really quick to get through. It's a nice palette cleanser. Um, I was also rereading the Percy Jackson books and I finished, I finished basically, I finished up to House of um, Heroes of Olympus and I've read The Sun and the Star. Uh, Percy Jackson and the Chalice of the Gods, I thought it was coming out this month, I was like June, I was certain it was coming out in June, it's not, it's not coming out until like September or something, so shot myself in the foot with that one, but I am leaning towards rereading Magnus Chase and maybe even Trials of Apollo. I've already reread The King Chronicles, so it's really just the Trials of Apollo and Magnus Chase that I need to reread if I want to just continue in that world. So we shall see. But I've got a TBR that allows me that wiggle room. So yeah, um, let me know if you're joining in, in the shop along down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you think of those books, if there's any I should just avoid or... Um, if you think I should prioritise anything and thanks very much for watching. All my links are down below to my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the same at Zebra Reads and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>